What if you had an AI content writer that didn't just spit out one draft, but actually worked with you, suggested headlines, refined them based on your feedback, and then wrote a full blog post complete with internal links, external references, and even images? Well, I built exactly that. Let's take a look at what an output post looks like. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I have it set up that every new post comes to me as an email, uh, fully formatted with HTML. So this is what the blog post looks like. There's links are added contextually. There's an AI generated image. There's uh, subheadings, there's H2s, H3s, and you have a full long form content piece ready to go. So let's go ahead and see how this works. So the first part of this agent is a writer agent. And here you can give it a keyword and start discussing the title and the headings that you want for your post. So let's go ahead and talk to this agent. I'll to brew drip coffee. So we have some title options. We also have some suggested H2 headings and we can do as much back and forth about this as we want. So let's say I like title number three and I like all of the H2 headings. Like title three and the headings are fine. And now it's going to call the second workflow, which is this one, the blog post writer workflow. Now the way that I have the agent set up is there is a chat trigger, which goes into an AI agent and the AI agent has a fairly simple system message. You are a master SEO strategist. I will provide you with a topic for a blog post. You are to help me refine the blog post title and required H2s, no H3s. This is an iterative process. So we made a little back and forth. Once I am happy, use the start writing tool. And to that, I have the called and edit workflow tool. Call this tool to start writing the blog post. And this triggers the blog post writer workflow, which I have over here. But the beauty of setting this up is that it ensures that the structure and content of the blog post will be as close to what you wanted as possible. Sometimes if you leave the, if you leave the entire process up to AI, it may, screw up the, uh, it may screw up the subheadings, it may screw up the title. But having this agent in between before triggering the actual writing process really helps you refine and massage the content so that the, the result is exactly what you're looking for. Let's go ahead and see how uh, this workflow is built. So the trigger is when this workflow is executed by another workflow, which is this one over here, the call and edit workflow tool. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to grab the input and uh, use a code note to kind of format that into a title and a headings array. Now, once we have all of the headings, you want to go ahead and split out the headings into eight items. So this, while we have one item over here, we're splitting all these eight out into eight subheadings. And then that's going to go over into an LLM chain. And that LLM chain has, this has the prompt. So we're feeding it to the blog post title. And we're also feeding it all the headings so that it knows what content comes before and what content comes after the section it is currently writing. And here we have the current heading. And I also have a fairly detailed system prompt where I'm telling it uh, what, what to write about. And the output is going to be in HTML. So the output is HTML starting with H2, uh, P tags, um, and so on. So what this is going to do is this is going to make eight requests in this case, because there are eight H2 headings, eight requests to, so it's going to make eight requests to an AI model and it's going to output eight sections. So if you go back here, we had eight items here. So this is item number one, item number two, item number three, item number four, so on. And we have eight uh, sections of our article all ready to go. Now we could stop here, but uh, let's try to make this better than most workflows out there. So uh, we're gonna aggregate those eight items into a single item again. And this time we're gonna make another LLM chain call and we want it to write an introduction. So for the introduction, we're gonna pass the title. We're gonna pass the headings, which you can find from here. From the code load that we had earlier, that's where you're gonna find these two variables. And uh, we have a prompt and we're just asking it to um, output at introduction. 
100 to 150 words and this time the output should start as doc type html right and uh, there we have it as the output we have the introduction for our blog post which will be the first section after writing the introduction we are going to do another llm chain so in order to write the conclusion we want to pass the title we want to pass we want to pass the introduction um and which is this one over here and we also want to pass all of the headings and this time uh, we have a similar prompt and we are just asking it to write a conclusion for this blog post and by the way uh, if you're if you're still watching this video uh, and you want this workflow just go ahead and drop a comment and I'll be more than happy to share it with you so now the conclusion is done the next is an HTML node and the HTML node is going to generate an HTML template and in that template, we're basically just going to combine everything. So we're going to combine the introduction that we had here. We're going to combine the, uh, we're just going to drag this aggregate node over here, which is going to be every heading one after the other. And we also are going to drag in the conclusion. So this HTML node is going to combine everything into a complete uh, HTML formatted blog post. So all of that is ready to go. Now you may notice that there are commas in between the sections and that's just because of the way NADN treats the array objects. So we're going to deal with that in a later load. So now that the blog post is assembled, so the next thing that we are going to do is call a tools agent. So this tools agent takes as the prompt the entire HTML app from the earlier node, which is the entire blog post. And this time the system prompt has instructions uh, to insert internal links and we are going to give it a reference to internal links by attaching a Google Sheets read sheet tool. Now I have a Google Sheet set up in which I have all of my existing URLs. So it's going to read the Google Sheet, it's going to get all those URLs and it's going to decide which URL is relevant to add as an internal link in this blog post. Once the internal links are done, it's going to be passed to another tools agent. This time, it's going to add external links. The same thing, it's going to get the output from the earlier node. This one has internal links already added. And this time, the tool is uh, calling the Perplexity API. Then by calling the Perplexity API, we're just giving it, uh, we are just telling it to get a list of three sources about this particular topic from uh, Perplexity. And once it has those sources, it's going to add those into the existing content. And finally, we are going to clean up that HTML using a code node just by uh, replacing any, uh, any under misplaced commas or any misplaced uh, new line characters and so on. So at this point, the blog post is mostly done, but we still need to generate an image. So once the HTML is cleaned up, the next node is uh, a prompt another LLM chain node and this prompt is going to generate uh, and this is going to create an image prompt for us. So I'm providing it with the title, I'm providing it with headings and we also have a system message and we're just instructing it to take these titles, take these headings and output an image prompt that then we can use to generate an image. Now that the image prompt is done, we're going to use the replicate API and uh, I'm using Flux Chanel for now, uh, but you can use any image model here that you want uh, using the Replicate API. And uh, we also have the prompt as well. So we're passing all of that in. Uh, we just have a, the next step is to add a wait node, just a few seconds for the image generation to complete. Once the image generation is complete, we're gonna get the URL of the image and we are going to insert that image into the HTML. And to do that, I'm using another code node so what this code node does is, is that it uh, finds the first h2 tag in the HTML and it inserts the image formatted as HTML right before that h2 tag. Now that the image is also inserted, the entire blog post is ready. And finally, it fires off an email with a ready blog post. Now NHN does have a WordPress node and you can use the WordPress node to create a post so make sure that everything is connected and all your variables are in place and this entire workflow can end up with a brand new post published on your wordpress website 
If you found this video helpful, I really appreciate it if you could give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more on AI and automation.